Hello, welcome to your Sagittarius video. My name is Laurie, I'm an astrologer. Um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, that would be amazing. Um, yeah, and let's get straight into it. So Sagittarius woman. So Sagittarius woman, when I think of Sag, I think of how spiritual uh, they are. So they're, they're often very spiritual in, in a kind of like esoteric way, I would say. Then they're very rarely into super organized religion, though they are very spiritual and um, you know they're into astrology, tarot, all all of the esoteric type um, areas of interest and beliefs. They usually they usually have you know a lot of these. So yeah, you know they're they're, they're very very spiritual uh, people. Um, they're always seeking um, higher knowledge, and I think that's why they're not so set on on uh, or, or why they have a dislike of of organized religion. Because you know, the Sagittarius mindset is very much there's always more to learn, there's always more to learn about, there's always more to discover, there's always more to uncover. Not in the scorpionic sense, but there's they have a thirst and a quest for for knowledge of of the higher kind um and and they want to uncover these you know the these truths until they find their truth um and and that's what what Sagittarius is it's kind of like a, a quest for 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 truth and that's why they need a lot of of freedom so if you if you're interested in in being with a Sagittarius woman for example you know you you want to give her plenty of freedom to roam and be her you know do not try and you know um you know you you won't if you're controlling or anything like that you know Sagittarius woman will Will just rebel. They are they are quite re rebellious um, by nature. Um, you know they prefer to keep things casual, keep things a little bit more open. Um, certainly for a while in, in the beginning stages, that they, they like to keep things, you know, um, at a level where they can retain as much of, of their freedom as they can. So yeah, you know they're really interested in in like shamanism and psychedelics. They're usually drawn to um they can they can be drawn to kind of drugs which um you know open their mind um you know quite natural drugs they're usually into things like mushrooms um you know the, these are just the kind of things that they're drawn to anything that opens their mind and helps them to grow spiritually and takes them on a journey because Sagittarius love to you know that they're adventurous people and they're always on a journey of discovery and this is why they love to travel as well you know they're very expansive thinkers um you know they're very free uh, they believe in freedom uh they're very generous people as well and they love 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 to party usually they usually um have at least uh, you know an, a time in their life when where they do party a lot uh, where they do, you know go to clubs and festivals and things like that that's quite common uh, they do suit self-employment and um, you know that they, 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 they will have employed jobs and now and then but you know Sagittarius is notoriously late and um, and they can be notoriously unreliable as well so so this is why self-employment usually suits Sagittarius especially Sagittarius women uh, they do very, very well at working for themselves. You know, this is one of the signs that get famous very, very quickly. They're very, very, um, you know, Jupiter's the largest planet in the zodiac. So that they're very, you know, that they will um, attract a lot of attention usually. Um, they usually have quite a unique style. Um, they usually dress very well. So yeah, so self-employment I would say suits suit Sagittarius really, really well. So you, if you are a Sagittarius, you know, I would say go for self-employment because it's going to give you that freedom and that satisfaction that you crave. So so just go for it. You know, if, you, if you've been thinking of doing that, then I would encourage you to, to pursue that. Um, so yeah, 
Sagittarius isn't known to be the the most naturally loyal or faithful. It, this doesn't mean that they can't be loyal and faithful because they can, but it just means that they need to explore and roam and just make sure that they've experienced a lot of what life has to offer before they settle down. That's what I would recommend for Sagittarius. And also when they're with someone when they choose a life partner it needs to be someone who's quite open-minded who lets them be themselves you know that they, they, they do not they dislike um having those feelings of being trapped so you know they have to at least have that perception of of, of freedom you know um to you know the freedom and the trust to for them to, to for them to decide you know it's their decision um and you know that they're, they're very much uh, they want to experience uh, everything um so so you know you, you you need to think about that you know this is if you're a person who loves to stay at home all the time um you know sagittarius may not be um you know i mean it depends what's going on with the rest of the chart there's so many factors involved you know we're just looking at sun signs alone here this the birth chart's a lot more complex than that um so so yeah uh, they they are very sexual people they're very promiscuous uh, more promiscuous than 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 most of the other types so they do love you know um sex they like to experience sex with many different people usually be, before they settle down and there's nothing wrong wrong with that uh, you know Samantha from Sex and the City she her character is a, a Sagittarius and she she's kind of my favorite Sagittarius in in um you know cinema or you know she's just she she loves to be free she's out there and then you know I don't know if any of you are familiar with that but then she marries um, this amazing man and he is amazing and then you know she ends up wanting to break free anyway because she's been true to herself and that's what when I think about Sag, Sag that's what that's what I think I think you guys have to um be true to yourselves and it's not easy being a Sagittarius in the kind of structured world we live in but it's about having the confidence and the bravery to be yourself as well so yeah Sagittarius are explorers Um, you know they're they're very into questioning the world and the ways of the world and like I say, they love traveling, um, but they usually don't travel. You know, like a lot of signs may, may just love to go on nice holidays. You know, Sagittarius likes to travel and they usually have um, a reason why they want to travel, whether it's spiritual growth or they want to go and see something really spiritual or they want to experience something or they want to work abroad. You know, they usually bring the travel into their um, lifestyle in, in a way where it's not just a holiday for them, it's, it's kind of an opportunity to grow to, to, to learn um, and things like that. Um, Sagittarius, they're not known to be the most honest. I, I've, I've found um, this to be true. Um, they generally are more extroverted. So they do, they are more extroverted in, in their personality. Um, you know, there's like a wandering feel to this, to this sign, you know, they're, they're, I always find with Sagittarius, it's almost like they're they're not of this world. They're, it's it's kind of like they're they're like aliens or something like that. And I say that in a you know a tongue in cheek kind of way, but they 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 are very you know otherworldly. In in you know it's 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 like they've lived many many lifetimes. Um, you know they've been here before. Sagittarius have. Um, you know, they have amazing energy, they're so energetic, adventurous, um, you know, uh, they can be very undisciplined in, in the way that they approach life, they, they may find discipline um, quite hard. That being said, despite the fact that they may not have the best um, discipline, um, they, they can be uh, sometimes a little bit controlling uh, with, with other people. Um, a little bit careless with with the way that they uh, they they're not they don't have the most tact um, when dealing with others or all of the time. But that being said, they're the most forgiving, kind, you know, people ever. They're they're so forgiving and very popular as well. So the the you know also Sagittarius have amazing vision. So that they they have amazing vision for projects. Um, you know, they're very big picture people. 
so they're not so good with detail but they they will they're, they're very good at overseeing a huge project or having a huge vision but I would leave the details to to to, to another type uh, you know details aren't necessarily their strong point but they're very big picture and this is why they're usually interested in in kind of you know politics you'll see them um you know you know standing up for for things that they believe in you know going and you know um standing up for what they believe in some way um so yeah they they they're really really good at um you know being spokespeople they're amazing teachers teachers of um you know many different subjects but you know that they, they do have a natural flair for teaching um you know they have very um strong opinions um but at the same time they're so accepting of uh, of everyone as well and very sincere open people who have just such a warm energy about them I think that, that you know they're very bright people and they're very nice to be around their their energy is always makes you feel good and they even though they have strong opinions there's something very non-judgmental about them even though they have these strong opinions um so yeah you know they're 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 amazing amazing people um they, they like I say they have natural flair education anything creative art you know um hairdressing fashion anything like that and they usually dress very very well themselves um they're very very popular very popular people they have a wide range of friends like these people have friends from every walk of life like they will know people millionaires and homeless people and just such a mixture of people and they always accept everyone which I really love about Sagittarius so when I first started having friendships with Sagittarius women I thought my god that you know that they're friends with anyone like, and and I'm a Scorpio so I was a bit like you know some that they don't it's like they don't have any standards in people that sounds horrible I know but but they but it's not that they just love and accept everyone which I think is really really beautiful you know I'd like to be a little bit more like that like they give everyone a chance um and they have such a wide range of, of amazingly interesting types of people and friends um in in their life so yeah, because because they're ruled by Jupiter as well, um, because this sign's ru ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter's obviously huge, uh, so so they are prone to exaggerating. They may exaggerate details, um, you know. Um, yeah, and Jupiter's known as, as as the philosophical teacher of the zodiac. He brings many blessings. Um, so like I said, these guys are very lucky. Usually, they're lucky. They meet the right people at the right time. Um, they're very, very lucky people. Um, you know, they they attract. They're very attract very easily. And like I say, they get famous very, very quickly. You know, a Sagittarius can, they get good in their field. Can go from like, you know, the the, you know, Jupiter's expansive, so they can go from being amazing at what they do to being world famous for it very quickly. Um, they kind of have a tendency to overextend themselves sometimes so just be mindful of that you know don't over commit yourself to things but yeah you know the, these guys they, they have a very crazy set they can be you guys can be crazy um very wild uh lots of fun um but yeah rebels rebels at heart i think um is a good way to to, to describe sagittarius you know they're very um you know spiritual rebels and you know, um, you guys have a lot of really cool ideas and usually very convincing as well, the way you put um, your opinions across. So, yeah. Uh, so, I just thought I'd, I'd finish with some Sagittarius celebrities, which you might be interested in. So, we've got Britney Spears, Taylor Swift, Christina Aguilera, Tyra Banks, Rita Ora. Tina Turner. So these are just some Sagittarius women who were really influential. So I really hope you enjoyed that. I'm just wondering if there's anything I've missed. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, you guys are very, very accepting people. Very, very, um, 
important people in the world. We need we need Sagittarians to um, to give us that that vision and create create that change in the world. Um, you know, you're very interesting people and lots and lots of fun as well. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that. Remember to like, subscribe. Please share this with any Sagittarius, uh, Sagittarians who you think would, would benefit from it. Um, yeah, astrology and uh, self-development, psychology, spirituality, these are all things that I'm really passionate about. So I really hope that this video helps you to understand your Sagittarius woman if you or if you know a Sagittarius woman, or if you are a Sagittarius woman. So just, yeah, enjoy it. Um, yeah, know thyself, um, and I'll see you soon. Um, please feel free to request any videos uh, that you would like. Um, thank you. Bye.